Welcome to the fall quarter of 2020. This is ME328 Mechanical Design, and I am your instructor for this class. I am Professor Mackin, and at the moment, uh, that picture was taken just this morning. I was standing on my porch looking at this view because I am at a small house that I own in Idaho. It's called Driggs, Idaho, and I look at the Grand Teton from my porch, which I like very much. And my dog, Chewy, likes it very much as well, although he spends most of the day laying around sleeping until we go outside to do some chores. Now, I have a, a number of hobbies that I kind of enjoy that apply my mechanical engineering skills. This is a restoration project that I'm currently engaged in. I have a 1999 E55 AMG Mercedes-Benz. I bought this car for $2,500 and I have been repairing everything that was broken on it. When I got out to Idaho, I needed a Jeep, and so I bought a 1997 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and it turns out I got this thing from some guy. It only has 43,000 miles on it. I can't believe it. And so uh, this is my Idaho vehicle for going into the backwoods and wherever I want to travel. So this is where I am right now, a little bit of context. I wanted to talk about the class, and so I show here a representation, a picture of the syllabus, which will also be posted on the Canvas site. But the Canvas site is also broken down by week and includes all of the same topics and dates that you will find on this syllabus. Now, you'll notice that I broke these down by week. So here's week one, week two, and so on, all the way through the end of the quarter. And the topics, we start off this week, well, introduction and then tolerances and factors of safety. And this is one of the videos that we will have this week. I will post videos that are associated with each of these topics. So you will have at least three videos a week. I'll try to make them short and sweet so you don't have to spend a lot of time in front of the computer. And each of those videos will be accompanied with a short quiz. The quiz is not intended to be difficult. It's just to show me that you actually took the time to watch the video. I will post these videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So the weeks are broken down into Monday, Wednesday, and Friday where we will have virtual lectures. They're asynchronous. So you can watch them anytime you want, but you have to watch the Monday lecture before midnight on Tuesday. The Wednesday lecture will then open at 6 a.m. on Wednesday, and you have to watch it before midnight on Thursday. The Friday lecture will open at 6 a.m. on Friday, and you have to watch that before midnight on Sunday. So I'm trying to keep you up with all of the material so that you have somewhat of a schedule, even though this is an asynchronous course. Remember, each of those lectures will be followed by a quiz, and that quiz has to be completed before the next video lecture posting. At the end of every week, there will be a quiz that's comprehensive for that week. So you will have 11 quizzes total. You will have a bunch of short quizzes on the lectures, all of these listed here, and you will have these more comprehensive weekly quizzes as well. Following each video lecture, there will also be a homework. That homework is due by midnight prior to the next lecture. And what you will do is download the homeworks, which I will have posted as PDF files on the Canvas site. Do those on paper. Circle your answers so they're at the ready. And then you will take a quiz where you input the answers that you got for the homeworks. You will have three homeworks a week. Every week you also have a lab. We will have a lab informal synchronous lecture every Tuesday. And I'll talk about the times in a minute. And you have to just complete that lab prior to the next Tuesday lecture. We will go over what you need in order to do that lab, but you will do the lab on your own. And you will have to write a brief report which summarizes the results of what you did. Now, you're going to notice that these labs, I have um, one, two, three, four, five labs, all of which are related to using a CAD program called Fusion 360, which also includes a finite element package. So you're going to do CAD and finite elements for the first five labs. And then beginning in the sixth lab, you're going to engage in a creative design process where you will use the CAD and FEA that we learned in the first five labs to help you design properly some creative component that you are interested in. 
So you can look at more of the details on all of this on the website. Now, I wanted to talk a moment about the grading. I have the grades, the grading scheme listed here. You will notice that grades are based upon laboratory reports with Fusion 360, the creative laboratory report, which is from lab six on, the homeworks that you have three a week of, the lecture quizzes, which you have three a week of, and the weekly quiz quizzes, which you have once every week. You will notice that there are no exams. And so uh, this is just the way we're going to do it. It worked well in the spring. I was doing 329 then instead of 328. The students liked it a lot. Details about the lecture content, the homeworks, the weekly quizzes, and the labs are also contained on the syllabus. And you can look at those at your leisure. And I explain what I just mentioned to you earlier, and that is... There are lectures set for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The link will open at 6 a.m. on Monday, and it's available through 12 p.m. on Tuesday. You must watch the lecture and complete the quiz before the next lecture opens at 6 a.m. on Wednesday. And likewise, for Wednesday, you have until Thursday evening. From Friday, you have until Sunday evening. And then we just repeat this throughout the quarter. Homeworks are given every every uh, uh, lecture period, and they'll consist of anywhere from two to four questions. They will not be that difficult, but you will then take a quiz to enter your answers. So everything will be graded instantly. There will be weekly quizzes on Fridays, and there are both Fusion 360 labs, that's the first five labs, and then six through 11 are the creative design labs where you get to apply what we are learning in this class to the design of some sort of gadget, component, device that you have always been interested in. So you should start thinking now about something you've always wanted to design and create, and we will end up cadding that up and doing that this quarter. Each week in the laboratory, we will have a synchronous session. So I, this little description right here in the syllabus says that every Tuesday from 4 to 5 p.m., we will have a Zoom session where you can attend. It will be recorded, so you don't have to attend. But if you do attend, uh, we will answer your questions and we will help you understand what is expected of you for the laboratory that week. It's also important to know that there will be office hours every Tuesday and Thursday. I will have online uh, synchronous office hours on Tuesday from 1 to 2.30 p.m. and on Thursday from 11 to 1 p.m. I will record those and post those as well. So if you can't attend, you can always watch the recorded office hours, but you can also email me and I will answer your questions and we will start chat groups as well to help answer your questions.